Okay, hello and welcome to how to install the Resident Evil 7 VR mod with motion controls. Um, I'm not going to waste anyone's time, let's just do it right now. Okay, first open Steam, go to your library, and just go home, and then find Resident Evil 7 on the sidebar, and click on it. It's going to bring you to this page right here. From this page, you're going to want to go under this little manage tab. Then go to manage and browse local files. Then you can exit out of Steam once you click that. And your local files will be right here. Or the Resident Evil 7 game files will be right here. Next, you're going to go into the link in the description of this video. It's going to take you to this page. Once you're in this page, just scroll down. Really, all this stuff just says, you know, what's new about this release and... The biggest thing is that it gave motion controls to Resident Evil 7. You're just going to scroll down and you're going to see these assets right here. Just click on re7.zip and then down here you're just going to click on the little books, whatever. And then from here you're going to have your mod files to the left, alright? You can X out of the Google tab or the releases tab, boom. So you're gonna have your your uh, mod right here and the game files right here. So put the game files on the right and then put the mod on the left. Next, you're just going to hold left click and just drag all of these files. Just highlight all of the files, right? Then they're all gonna be highlighted and you're gonna hold left click again and drag all of those highlighted files over to the game and once you see the little plus under the mouse you're just gonna let go of left click and it will add all those files to your game I already did it though so I'm not gonna do it again then you can X everything out and your mod will be installed and boom it's great now you can play I'll show you how okay so now once you have your headset on and you know like hooked up to the PC all of that ready to go you're just going to you know, kind of lift it up off your head and then go on to steam again and then so I just have my headset ready to go you know ready to play boneworks all that just like you know in the home just above my head I'm just navigating through steam with the computer so I just click on Resident Evil 7 and you just click play and put the head headset back on your face and just wait a bit and then eventually you will be brought right into the game and it should all work perfect I've done this mod and downloaded it twice and it once has not it has never not worked so it's pretty great how they really just it's really good. So I have my motion controls in my hands, right? Now I'm just gonna like stand up, move away from my desk because it is like motion controls and stuff. Um, you have your menu, which you just point the palm at your face and just take the other controller and point at the palm, and then you can you have a huge menu. Um, under VR, you can recenter your view, all that cool stuff, and then you use your touch controllers to play. So, um, I'm just gonna load a game here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna load this part right here because it's, um, I don't think there's any enemies around part and I'll show you how the motion controls work and all the new stuff let's go right in all right so number one I'm gonna ignore the phone for now actually it's gonna keep reading. so oh that's annoying let me go answer the phone the one thing that is a little weird is that you don't have a body in cutscenes, like it cuts it off. And that didn't happen in the other mod. I think there's a setting to stop that from happening. 
Don't lose oh well, it's it important. doesn't matter too much. I would just prefer to have your full body in the cutscenes. But now girl. we can show how these motion controls work. All right. You basically just, you know, you have your controllers and you can pick them up, move them around, all that stuff. Um, of course, this uh, the screen does not represent it too well. I'll, I'll try to show what it actually looks like by displaying the VR view. Now, just so you know, it's not choppy at all. This Steam VR view does not help help it at all. So, I have my stuff on high. Like, it runs really well for it being so cranked up, but you can run it however you want. I think the graphics settings don't really affect how your performance works, but it does affect how the video comes out. So if I have it all on high, it's just going to look choppy on video, but not on actual game. So I have depth of field on, so let me get... I don't have anything yet. Here, let me go get a gun out of the safe box. But it's just amazing how this is able to happen. They're able to do this. Okay, so... Oh, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna get my gun out now. Here's my gun. Um, you can two-hand guns now. And you have an actual working reticle now. The other mod, the reticle wouldn't work. Like, it just glitched out. But now, you actually have it. And, you know, it all works. So, I have depth of field on, which means if I go open this door up and stare at this wall right here, it's going to blur the outside. But then when I look over, it's going to blur the uh, thing close to me. So, I think that's pretty awesome. But that was in the old mod, too. And then, yeah, you can just... And then, also, I don't have any handgun ammo, but when you reload, now your left hand comes up and, like, slaps it in. You you don't control it, but there's, like, an animation now. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's way, way, it's definitely the best way to play the game. Um, yeah, so that has been the tutorial. Uh, hopefully it helped just a little bit. Okay, peace.